Okay, this is problem 98, and what this says is, I have a copper penny, and the copper penny, United States copper penny, okay, 3.94 grams, that's the copper penny, okay? Now, I can dissolve that copper using nitric acid. Very toxic experiment, you need a fume hood, very toxic chemical that's evolved, okay? Not a very pleasant reaction, but you can do it. Clear? Now, it says, what volume of a 1.5 molar solution of nitric acid will dissolve the penny? Easy? Yes? All right, let me read the problem from as it is worded in the book. It says, how many milliliters of 1.5 molar nitric acid contains enough nitric acid to dissolve an old copper penny with a mass of 3.94 grams. And this is the equation that they give. What kind of, what kind of problem is this, is this really reduced to? What kind of problem? M, mass, mass, stoichiometry. So right now we're just comparing these two, right? Right? So what's, what is three, what's copper? Three moles of copper would be what? Come on guys, get out your calculators, let's work. Shall I be your periodic table for you? May, may, I, may I take that role? Okay, copper has a mass of 64. That's the mass number of copper. 192. 192, good. Okay. Hydrogen is one, nitrogen is 14, and I'll even be a part-time calculator. Oxygen is 16 times 3 is 48. So 48 plus 14 plus 1 times 8. 504. 504. Excellent. Well done, Gabby. 504. Okay? And what I did was I put those as stoichiometric masses. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes? Okay. That means that if I take three moles of copper, 192 grams, that's going to specifically react with 504 grams of nitric acid, which is eight moles. So that's kind of a review of chapter 12. Clear? Okay. So I know that my relationship is going to be three moles of copper over eight moles of HNO3. And I know that the known ratio, 192 over 504. Is that clear on this, on the thing? Okay. So I know, I know that I have 3.94. So this is what you said. 192 is to 504 as 3.94 is to x. So then you'd say 3.94 is to x. x equals what? 3.94 times 504 divided by 192. x equals what? 10.3425. All right, don't go crazy, otherwise you'll be arrested by the Canadian figure police, Gabby, okay? We'll make sure that we bring the mounted Canadian police just to arrest you, okay? So that's going to be 10.94? 10.93? No, 10.3. 10.3. No, 10 okay, I know, I'm sorry, deaf teacher. 10.34. Okay, good. So the question is this. What volume, what volume of this contains this, right? So what, I, what would I do? I would say, well, easy, right? I'd say, well, I know that I have 1.5 moles of HNO3 in 1,000 milliliters, right? Don't I know that? Yes or no? Yes? Yes. Okay. All right. So I know one mole is 504, right? Oh, sorry. No, sorry. Duh. That's eight moles. Eight moles is 504. I know that one mole is what? 
What's one mole? 63. What is it? 63? Is that what you said? 63? No. What's one mole of nitric acid? Aren't you the one that gave me eight moles? So then you must have calculated one mole correctly. So what's one mole? 63. 63. Okay, good. So, and then, so I know that one mole of nitric acid equals 63 grams. So what's 1.5 moles? What's 63 plus? Half of 63. 94.5. Well done, Mohammed. Excellent. 94. Can I erase this? 3.94. I don't need that, right? I don't need that, right? Nor, could you give me some paper towels, please? Can I get rid of this? Okay. So this is going to be, I'll make this in green. This is going to be, this is going to be 94.5. Thank you. So, there, therefore, this is what I have. I have 94.5 grams over 1,000 milliliters, right? Now, so there's 94.5 grams per 1,000 milliliters, right? But how many, how many grams do I need? I don't need 94.5 grams. What do I need? 10.34, right? Don't I, isn't that what I need? Yes. All right, so the question is this, another proportional relationship. 90, 94.5, 94.5 is to 1,000 as 10.34 is to X, correct? Wait, but how do you get 1,000 in the beginning? Because it's 1.5 molar. That's moles per one liter or moles per 1,000 milliliters, right? Yes? Yeah. Mohammed? You are on fire. People will say, what's that flare in the first row? And then he's simply, Mohammed. Thank you, Mohammed. So X equals what? 109.4 milliliters. Excellent. Right? You get it? Yeah. 109.4 milliliters. Yes? So you need a tenth of a, a little bit more than a tenth of a liter. We'll do, we'll do the trick. Yes? Okay? You all right? Excellent.